Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So I thought of doing a reading that would be asking about anything that you might need to know about currently. So you're going to be the ones who will be choosing your messages, guys. Um, I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. We'll see what's going to come through. I don't have any piles in front of me yet. I want you guys to see when I'll be shuffling which one you are being drawn to. So I think what I want to do, I want to start with the angel deck actually. So let's use that one to lay the cards out. Okay, one popped out straight away for pile number one. Let's see, pile number two. Pile number three. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I don't know if, um, if you watched the last video, what happened. I had a video ready and I haven't even edited it and it went public. I didn't do anything different than I normally do when I have video um, being prepared, you know. And Carla <laughs> commented saying, I've noticed this happened to you in the last retrograde. So thank you for letting me know because I'm just like, mm, whatever. Maybe someone needs to hear that, you know, <laughs> a little bit earlier than it was planned. So what we have for you guys, and we have pile one, two, three, and four. I'm going to be pulling more cards here. Maybe you're going to be feeling when I'll be pulling cards, um, one of these choices more than the other. I don't know why I kind of want to keep you in this process today of making up piles, shall we say. So what is the message for pile number one, please? All right, all right. I'm not going to show it for people. For pile number two, I'm being drawn to this card. For pile number three have this card I'm gonna try and keep them as nice as possible and pile number four so take your pick and we're gonna see what messages we have for you guys today one two three and four I'm gonna see you in timestamps Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number one. So let's see what is the message today. I kind of feel like I'm drawn to pulling a couple of more cards before starting reading your tea leaf and the angel deck. What is the message for pile number one? We have the two of pentacles. What else? We have the knight of wands. Let me adjust the camera for you guys. We have the King of Cups and one more. And the Six of Cups. All right, this is interesting. And then bottom of the deck, two of wands here. So I'm getting already the vibe. Then in Tea Leaf Tarot, if I can pick it up because of my nails, let's do it that way. We have the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Interesting. See that door is still closed. It's going to be opening up pretty soon. But it seems like you're going to be the one who's opening that door. We have Knight of Swords. It seems like that Knight is going towards that door in order to open it. So what is it that you are chasing for? It seems like your cards are saying to keep on going. Especially if you are juggling two things at the same time. If you feel like this journey will never end, whatever that journey is that feels very busy or very your mind is occupied, uh, this journey will end and it's going to transition to something a little bit more peaceful, I would say loving and much more relaxed. Right now is the action time. Right now it's time to take action, to keep on going. We have two knights here. There's a lot of action in this, in this reading. But this knight over here, you can see that he is a little bit suspicious, I must say. This person, um, every time I pull this card, I know that they're not 
they're not in the right place but not in a bad way you know and uh, the way they dressed in what kind of environment they are in it seems like it's unfamiliar for them but they came there themselves so maybe some kind of exploration is needed here for pile number one explore the unexplored don't be afraid to put yourself in situation that might feel like will need work or might feel like it is not as familiar to you and it seems like there's gonna be an influential person coming back to your life here too I don't know how that relates I think if you've picked this message it might make sense to you but there's a person coming into your life someone you've known for a while it does seem like a very familiar and very close person next to you let me see what this person will have or what is the influence or why they are showing themselves in this reading there is a connection that is happening so i'd say for some of you this can be romantic for some others of you this can be almost like a connection that feels like home i don't know why i want to say that and um maybe this is describing a journey of someone's looking for what it is that makes them passionate and what it is that they want in life and on that journey you know on the way to that door which is the new beginning you know which is a new opportunity to open up for you you might find someone who's pretty influential you know so i'm seeing that knight you know going on his own journey but then on the way he meets a person and he's like whoa you know where did you come from and then it seems like it's something to do with your i don't know if some of you will actually continue being very close with this person because it seems like some of you might decide to go at it alone at this journey alone um because you have this very independent vibe to you when it comes to the future so it doesn't have to be you know that you're gonna say no you can connect to this person but um you are very focused on business and your own creation of some sorts and maybe somehow this person will be influential in this journey they might offer you something or suggest something let's pull a message from the animal tarot let's pull a message from the animal tarot We have the king of water it says at this time it's very important that you communicate clearly be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible if you need advice seek out the most experienced expert you can find so it does have this feeling to me here it's something professionally that you're aiming for or maybe an opportunity of some sort or you're trying to find a connection if you do um, if you are trying to achieve that that is definitely happening and overall pile number one I don't know who needs to hear that you're going to be a um, very independent in the future so you not you don't need anyone's help I don't think that you need it now but um, not needing anyone's help and having it seems like you're gonna have your own shit going <laughs> That's what I'm feeling for pile number one. You have your own thing going, right? And you will not need support from anyone else. You'll know where you stand, you know what you're doing, you know what you're working on. And uh, you're going to be pretty happy. And I think it seems like for some of you, you're going to decide to somehow bring someone back from the past and become closer to them. It does remind me of a situation where, you know, two, two people go about their own lives, you know, let's give it an exa example as uh, you know a friend uh, who has somehow got a little bit distant because of you know your responsibilities you had to go certain way they had to go certain way and that you know that um, connection has somehow become a little bit more distant but doesn't mean that you're not on good terms and someone is reappearing in your life somehow and uh, it seems like it's there's going to be that nostalgic time in your life but almost like you're looking back at your life and you're like okay look how far we both come look how many experiences we had to go through and uh, we can share to that now literally i'm seeing two people sharing so i hope that this message pile number one makes sense made sense i had to rush this one today because i have to be somewhere 
and that was beneficial somehow tribe thank you for coming back love you as always i'll catch you in the next one hello tribe pal too so let's see what we have for you guys i want to pull from steampunk before we look at your cards and let's see what is the message for you today pile number two we have the two of wands we have the queen of cups i'm hearing for some of you specifically if you are looking for um, connection with a female in your life to get better is going to improve if you had any kind of uh, maybe disagreements or arguments that connection is going to improve we have the magician as well as eight of swords I want to clarify the eight of swords for you guys let's see what it is okay we have yeah that one feels more like it because the knight of wands was like I'm not sure about this one so let's see all right it does seem like there is a situation here let's look at your tea leaf tarot we have chair empty someone is living your life as well as five of cups and we have the five of pentacles here i'd say pile number two if that's not not your pile maybe click off because that is a very straightforward message i'm not going to invent anything here um it seems like there is going to be a person who is somehow living your life but this is not that female that i talked about it feels like this is the magician person here let me get to their energy a little bit more and let's see what they're about um and we're gonna see why but it seems like yeah look living your life and what we have the five of pentacles here it seems like someone is going to have to go but it's because they need to it seems like for some others of you it's for your own good because it has been keeping you stuck here right or maybe you didn't feel as loved as you should have page of pentacles even the page of pentacles in this deck is standing in a snow so whatever situation that has to do with you feeling cold or not loved enough or you feeling maybe lonely it's um i mean when it comes to a person that you're thinking of because there is a person involved here it's saying you know this feeling was given to you for a reason so that look we have the king of cups because someone who is half ass is going to have to go from your life because they didn't make you happy at the fir at first you know and throughout the time left out left alone you know maybe some of you you are leaving someone Maybe that's you, um, you are deciding to leave. But the thing is for me, someone is walking in your life instead or instead of that person who, whom you are deciding to leave. It does seem like, you know, the queen and the king of uh, cups here, it seems like maybe someone is going to be thinking either about improving relationship because for me this is like a married couple. You don't have to be, but um, maybe that's your family member that I'm talking about and um but what is happening here someone is being replaced you know and don't take it as in a harsh way um remember that you know whoever leaves we always have a replacement you know and it's not about forgetting about that person it's more so about there are so many fishes in the sea you know so i'd say guys pile number two if you feel like a situation doesn't keep you warm maybe uh it's time to think about a replacement even if this is not a person it sounds kind of harsh when i'm saying replacement for a person uh, but um, even if let's say it was a job or there was anything anything in your life really that wasn't fulfilling you and you kept dragging it dragging it you know or pushing it to happen and it just didn't happen it's saying allow the replacement to come in your life pile number two that is literally the message for you here let's pull from the animal tarot here and let's see what other message we have for you yours is very short and sweet i must say even though i'm doing a short reading today but yours is very very short and sweet okay what is the message for pile two 
It says, look, we have three of winter, which in regular deck is three of swords. Sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you will be stronger than before. So there is support system if you need that. This is saying, okay, you just have to make a phone call or just tell someone about what it is that you are going through. So open up pile number two and turn to where uh, there is love, you know, I would say the beloved friends or family members, if your family is not good with you, you know, you know where to turn, this is saying. So I hope this made sense, Paul, to try. Thank you for coming back and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello panel number three, welcome to your reading. Today is going to be a short and sweet message. I don't know what's going to come through, but I know that I want to pull from steampunk prior to looking at your cards, okay? So let's see, what is up for pile number three? What is up for pile number three? We have the Page of Swords, which is interesting. I really like the Page of Swords in this deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Let me adjust the camera for you. What else we got? It's somehow children related or youngsters or maybe even your pet in some cases. We have the Three of Pentacles. I see, you know, for some of you, there is a message that you might be getting a new pet in the future and you don't have a plan for it just yet. Or maybe for some of you, you are maybe having a child if you, if you want one. You know, don't go about saying, hey, I don't want kids. Why is that happening? I mean, this is collective, right? So what it is that feels um, close to you. We have the Four of Cups, bottom of a deck, the Magician. I mean, overall, pile number three, the vibe here is it seems like you can make anything happen, especially if you're looking for a really strong partner in your life or if you're looking for a strong collaboration. Um, opportunities here too, because the Page of Swords is a messenger. There might be a message coming from abroad for some of you or maybe from a different city, doesn't have to be as far as that, but a message being sent about some kind of maybe family matter Mm, it can be yours, it can be your parents, you know, um, whatever it is that it relates to you in this case, about some kind of collaboration or work situation or documents. And I don't know what, what that's about exactly for all of you, but I keep looking at documents and a message being sent. You, you might receive some kind of formality or a letter that somehow is helpful or some kind of information that you have been looking for. What else, pile number three? We have, yeah, position of authority. Now it makes sense, you know, maybe you're dealing with institutions here. And I keep hearing, you know, collaborate, work together. Uh, be open to working together with someone. Instead of uh, closing your heart space off, instead of closing yourself off, I don't know why, but for some of you, you're being encouraged to work with someone here. And then we have the five of pentacles, yeah. Somehow this is saying you, there's going to be a change coming in, right? When it comes to the money matters or when it comes to your stability. But that change can be achieved somehow either through maybe a family member here or through a collaboration that feels very close to you. Be open to opportunities, pile number three. There is one or two people here listening to this reading who might be a little bit like, hey, you know what, I want to improve this and that in my life, specifically when it comes to money. But uh, when it comes to taking opportunities that are being presented to you, you may be um, turn it down because it's not something that you expect as, this, as of this time. Right now, this is saying take what you get in um, if you want to solve some kind of issue, right? So an example would be um, definitely not for someone to get stuck in a job for, you know, three years that they don't like. But more so, you know, when you're in a situation where you just need bills to be paid, this is saying what offers do you have? Even if you don't have any offers, put yourself out there. You can get a simple job, you know, even as a cleaner, if you really need that cash or if you really want to improve something or to put extra money on some kind of a dream, um, look at a situation as a temporary situation. There is some kind of temporary um, thing that is happening here and it's saying, um, your kinds are saying, take it as a temporary struggle, pile number three. 
I don't know what that's about. There is a lot of information coming through here. You need to understand that you are you are represented by the magician here to me. And magician can do many things at once. Magician can multitask and magician is very talented. Uh, they can adapt very easily. For pile three, you're being told that you can adapt in any situation if you need to make things work. And if you ever wanted to work in a position of authority, this is your message. You can do it. Let's pull a message for pile number three. From the animal tarot. And let's see. We have the chariot. This is, again, uh, this is victory. This is um, respect, right? It says, you can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and, and focus you have earned the rewards and recognition you are receiving bang here we go so it seems like someone is overcoming some kind of a maybe dark night of a soul situation or maybe not feeling as good you know and this is saying it's going to be done and over with but you're the one who's taking action here somehow um i think there's going to be a situation within the next week or so where you wake up with a completely different energy almost like a boost of energy and you're like okay i see everything clearly i know what i need to do thank you very much you know when you wake up with gratitude how much you have and um I'd say pile number three, keep going because I'm seeing quite a lot of abundance coming your way as well as somehow you are socially respected. If you want to be, especially if you want to be in the public eye, uh, this is saying you can achieve anything in that area, okay? So I hope that this made sense. This was short and sweet today and Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Hello, pile number four. So let's see what we have for you. I don't know what to expect from these messages. These are going to be short and sweet today. I have to be somewhere um, very soon. I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> Hope I'm not late. But let's see. What is the message for pile four? We have the strength cards. Starting strong. We have, whoa, the six of wands. Damn, look at you. Look at you. Give yourself more credit, pile number four. We have the two of pentacles. Let me adjust the camera for you. And what else? We have the queen of wands coming out together with the moon. But I felt moon reversed in this case. I did feel it reversed. Your cards, we have parrot. Someone will gossip <laughs> about all your secrets, okay? Oh my god, I can never put these cards up. As well as the Ace of Cups. All right. This is interesting. I mean, the Parrot is kind of a jealous card. The Parrot is, um, is a card for me here that, you know, represents a person who is maybe who doesn't lead as interesting of a life comparing to you as you do okay let's put it that way because look what's happening here we have strength as well as the six of wands you are someone who's doing really well in whoever this is um, in their eyes and you know what it is this person may be struggling quite a lot in order to achieve what you have achieved so far it doesn't have to be a big deal, you know, don't have to be uh, famous or anything, you know, fame is not about success anyway. But um, you don't have to do big things in order to, you know, to be seen in that light. You know, when people compare themselves to you, they're being very specific and there's something that they want. And it does seem like someone will maybe show themselves as being a little bit jealous here. But I'm not feeling like this is going to be a childlike person, childish person. This is someone who feels very mature when it comes to their age, but um, see, they have struggled quite a lot in life. And I think that's the way that they um, allow themselves to kind of vent through some kind of a gossip. And do you remember how I said I felt the moon reversed? You are going to know, because this is, this is you, you are going to know exactly where it's coming from and why. And this Queen of Wands is not bothered at all at all she's like i knew that you know the moon was wasn't feeling like like upright you know there is no secret i know everything i mean you don't even have to tell me that this happened i already know so i think you, what is happening for pal four um, i don't feel any drama here though i feel like your whatever you felt intuitively regarding someone is going to be proven to you 
that you are right and um, you're not even bothered now what you're doing you're focusing very much on your future goals and your future endeavors maybe there is a situation where someone is jealous over someone's new love I really don't want to say that because I don't like drama and stuff like that but I have to say what I'm seeing here okay because it does seem like someone might be starting some kind of new maybe um spark with someone you know a new relationship or interest and maybe someone is going to be a little bit jealous i don't know why because this seems very childish here in this case if that's the case but i mean take it as a compliment as i always say you know um i mean who wouldn't be jealous of this queen of wands look at her look at her face she's like how can i help you i'm a professional you know i know what i'm doing I know I'm being successful. If I'm not successful just yet, I know I will be. And I'm going to work as hard as I need to in order to make it happen. So someone is jealous um, because of your strength, I think. And that is why it comes through as a gossip, you know. So if there's going to be a case where um, there might be a situation... It seems like someone is picking at things, you know. But this is not for all of you. And they'll be like, ha, ah, you know, I told you this person maybe made some kind of a mistake. Someone is kind of, you know, in some cases obsessed over you. I don't know why, but it does seem like someone who is really, really not happy with where they at in their life. Now, if this is, um, if you know for sure you're not surrounded by anyone or your intuition is, is not telling you that you have anyone around, right? Friend of a friend even, um, who who has those kind of traits sometimes i'd say click off there is no need to push messages you know that don't vibe with you and um, that create maybe more confusion it's not that's not for those people okay this is more so i think people who who stayed you know that that might be a situation here if you already felt something intuitively about a situation previously okay who is this person See how much they are carrying in their life. And I mean, it makes sense. Maybe whatever they do in life, it doesn't come easy to them. And uh, maybe they're not even going in where they have to go, right? Maybe they, they're not even following their own path. And you are, and it hurts, right? It just hurts that person. Um, is there any advice? How should, should you do anything about the situation? I mean, what is it? <laughs> Keep on grinding. Keep on doing what you're doing. Be proud of who you are. Um, pat yourself on the back. Don't hide away your good traits. Don't hide yourself. Uh, show what you have. I mean, not like flash in a flashy way. But don't hide your authenticity. Don't hide how much you have. You know, it's not about stuff. Don't hide what you're doing, you know. You don't have to be secretive if you don't want to. Because sometimes it's good to keep it private. Um, I'd say until you get that goal sorted right until you get there but this is saying keep keep on being you keep on shining pile number four so i don't even know why this message came through here maybe some of you have been worried about this situation and you are like oh my god why 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 this person is like this um and this is your kind of heads up saying hey come on come on let's pull a message for you an extra message for pile number four it says a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship, is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So it's saying there, there might be a, um, a situation where you might be drawn to deepening your knowledge in something. Keep on doing it. You're very professional. You have this entrepreneurial vibe about you. Keep on going. Deepen your knowledge. Keep on moving. And... Um, Keep your, keep your, you know, um, head up, I'd say, pile number four. So it turned out to be a really nice message, uh, apart from a little bit of, you know, touches of drama there. But I hope that this reading found those who needed to hear that. And Tribe, thank you for coming back. I love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one.